You're watching Telecom TV from TIP Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is Rajesh Mishra, who is founder, president and CTO of Parallel Wireless. Rajesh, very good to see you again on Telecom TV. What challenges does Parallel Wireless see in bringing connectivity to urban and rural areas around the world? Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, first of all, really excited to be here. It's a great place and uh, we love the TIP Summit. Uh, in terms of the challenges, every market is different and uh, the challenges include, uh, for example, if you are in uh, remote regions of Africa where it could be a power or the site issues on a dense, uh, it's about the small cell deployment and automation. So these challenges are actually are across the different uh, areas uh, depending on the market you are going after. So there's a cost challenge and also a complexity challenge involved. So what we are able to do is solve that cost challenge with the different pieces, end-to-end uh, -end solution, automation, and uh, RAN ecosystem or other ecosystem partners. And then in terms of the services challenge where a lot of times the services costs are too high, we are able to do our automation and uh, avoid uh, or minimize the services integration costs. Your open RAN solution covers a whole range of cellular generations. How do you also ensure interoperability? We have a single RAN solution that allows operators to start wherever they want and they can upgrade anytime in future to the other G technologies, right? And uh, because of our controller and all the automation software work we have done, it's truly plug and play to their existing network, whether it's a 2G or 3G or 4G or 5G. So that's something we are able to do with our innovative controller along with our um, uh, core capabilities of the system that truly makes our RAMs plug and play into the network. How does Parallel Wireless help address these deployment challenges and also solve network operators' dilemma of modernizing existing infrastructure? This is actually one of the challenge operators have today if they want to modernize the network or they want to add another layer to their network, they can't just bolt on top of their existing network because uh, let's say they want to add uh, just a brand new layer. There's just too much stuff on the tower side. You can't just keep doing it. So you have to actually replace some of the existing equipment to do that. So if you're adding, let's say, a new 4G layer or a new 5G layer, you can't keep the existing 2G, 3G layers, for example. So with our native solution, we are able to continue and replace or modernize their older equipment and still maintain the older G solutions and still give them the newer Gs like 4G, 5G solution with the same equipment. So they're able to replace the legacy systems on the network, on the tower, and in fact, uh, honestly lower the load on the tower and the power consumptions and even the rental, what you're doing on the site. And at the same time, you're getting a cloud native solution. That means you're scalable. You can bring the core to the edge, which is something we are doing really well with these operators. So while you think you are only adding a layer into the network, you are actually modernizing your network to be future-proof and ready and actually be uh, something where uh, you become an edge-centric architecture. Is this a cloud-native solution? When we say cloud-native, there are actually multiple pieces involved. Uh, you probably heard me many times saying the word automation. Cloud-native implies a massive amount of automation, massive amount of plug-and-play. So, so those are the things we have been actually building natively. That's part of our value proposition to the operators, uh, especially in our controller, where everything is automated. So when uh, operators deploy a RAN network, it's truly automated. In real time, we decide and we dictate and orchestrate all the network. And it's truly done in a scalable, cloud-native way. So what hardware does your solution contain? We have two sides of the network we cover, right? We cover the radio side as well as the core side. And uh, we pride ourselves, we are the probably the world's largest open RAN hardware ecosystem we have. We have worked really hard with our hardware partners to incubate this system. So uh, probably uh, we are the one of the largest hardware in terms of the bands, you know, FDD, TDD, 2x2, 4x4, Massive MIMO. We have those, all of them in our portfolio, including the small cells or the public safety type of solutions. So for CSPs, this approach actually improves network economics. 
Uh, it definitely does because uh, what's going on is uh, at the end of the day, you have to be a cost competitive to the incumbent solution that's already available. And you can imagine the incumbent solution already has an economy of scale because that's what they've been deploying in the past, right? So when we disaggregate these things, we are actually able to save the cost in total cost of ownership. That's what you know you hear from Vodafone, Telefonica, or MTN, right? We are able to actually hit those cost points, which is uh, we are working with, um, you know, with uh, disaggregating the radio hardware, the software, the cloud automation, as well as disaggregating the services. So in totality, we are actually able to bring all these things together. Do you have specific use cases you can reference? Yeah, no, so we have been working, um, you know, with Vodafone in multiple countries. Uh, and, uh, you know, you guys all heard about the Turkey. And in fact, we were working with Telefonica in multiple countries and Peru, you know, I think we announced that it's fully automated network. Uh, we are doing a large scale deployment there and there's a large amount of customer traffic already on it. I think that was yesterday discussed by uh, the uh, uh, CTO of uh, um, Peru team, IPT Peru team, right? So these are all the activities. And then, you know, we have many other activities which are not public, uh, but uh, operators are actually very bullish about it. And you saw that Vodafone's announcement about uh, the large scale planning using the open LAN system. That's, we couldn't be more proud of our operator partners, actually. They've been working, you know, and incubating, and now, you know, thinking large scale and deploying large scale as we speak. So this is actually a good time to be in this moment, open that moment, and be proud, uh, proud to be part of that moment. How is Parallel Wireless's solution different from other solutions on the market? So, you know, Parallel Wireless solution looks at the big picture where we are trying to orchestrate the whole network. So part of our solutions, we have all the pieces operators may want to use in their network. We don't come with a single solution that one size fits all. So we have a solution where uh, on the radio side, they have a CUDU split if they want to deploy that way or they want to do a 2G, 3G, 4G or 5G solutions, depending on which part of the network they are doing. Again, these are also CUDU type of uh, situations or solutions if they have the front hall. If they have a front hall, we can do a cloud baseband. If they don't have a front hall, we can do all-in-one um, in, on the site. If they want to bring the edge to the network, we have the edge core solution where we bring the edge to the net, closer to a network to the edge, we try to bring that for them. So we have a full solution and full suite of radios and full suites of split. We are probably the only one where we support multiple splits, not just one split because different networks or different front hall situations demand a different split. A 5G demands a different split than the 4G does. So we support a variety of splits beyond just 7.2, which we do. And uh, this is something we are really proud of. So we don't go to operators saying that I got one solution, use me. We say no, we try to understand their network situation and then we propose a solution that's best suited for them. And honestly, that's how we are able to differentiate and save them the cost. Because if operators can't afford a massive front hall overheads on their transport, you know, you know, seven, option 7.2 may be the best option split, but that's just too expensive for them. Rajesh, thank you for joining us again on Telecom TV. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.